Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be my empties for the month of January. January 2017. Wow. Can y'all believe the month is already over? We have had here in Oklahoma some crazy weather for January. Let me tell you. Um, we had snow. Did we have snow in January? Was it January or December that we had snow? I can't remember. But anyway, um, we've had a lot, a lot of days where it has been 70 plus degrees for January, which is crazy. Yesterday, which was January the 31st, it was almost 80 degrees. Now today, February 1st, where I'm recording this, it was around 60 degrees, um, but the wind was cold today. But yesterday, it was like sweating, running the air conditioner in the car. Man, crazy. Anyway, let's talk about my beauty trash. And I'm gonna talk, first of all, about some non-beauty trash. And I want to talk about these because I'm so fed up with these little wallflower thingy-majops from Bath and Body Works. Yes. First of all, these things, I mean, they're super, super cute. And I bought these to go with the decor of my house, a um, previous house. And these things do not last no time, and they're expensive. And for the amount of money that you're paying for them, they should last longer than three or four months, in my opinion. They should last longer than a season. So I have these, and I'm, I'm, I have to get rid of them because they no longer work. And there's no point in having them just plugged into the wall outlet for no reason. Now, I did keep one that is a butterfly, and the only reason why I'm keeping it is because it's also a nightlight. And the light the night light on it still works it's just it doesn't um, heat up this part here doesn't heat up anymore and throw the fragrance or whatever it does or whatever it's supposed to do anyway it doesn't work doesn't throw the fragrance anymore so I am done with those I'm not buying anymore they're too expensive so done makeup wipes I talk about these every single empty I get them at Big Lots they're from Apple can't go wrong with those have a hair product this is from Lonza and it's the keratin healing oil hair treatment it was okay it's not my favorite oil treatment by any means I like the one from Kerastase the most but this one was okay I did finish it um, I did like it a whole lot better than the macadamia one that I had been using all last year so anyway but would I repurchase those things no um, Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Love this. Um, have three backups. And um, yes, I would repurchase if I ever run out of makeup setting spray. Okay, this guy right here. This is the Artemis um, Sunday Riley Artemis Face Oil. Okay, I did like this. Um, husband hated it because the smell of it is horrendous horrendous oh my god and it got to the point where he's like if you wear that one more time to bed because I would use this as my night oil he's like you're gonna have to start sleeping on the couch or sleeping outside with the dog he goes do not come to bed with that stuff on your face ever again so I kind of put it away for that reason and then I had started using it just of the morning time and then I put it away again. Well, this time when I pulled it out to use it, um, it has pretty much turned into um, sap. So you, I mean, you cannot get hardly any of it out. I was able to get some out and I used it for like maybe a couple weeks, but it is just to the point where it is sap. And you know, now that I'm sitting here thinking, maybe I could put it in the microwave and heat it up a little bit. Hmm. I wonder if I could do that, because this stuff is expensive. This is really expensive, and I hate to throw anything out that costs this amount of money, but I don't know if you can even see it, how it's all icky and gooey around the edge there. And see here, it just turned into sap, like hard, hard sap -y stuff. And it does, it stinks horrible but it was a really good face oil I mean it did 
what it was supposed to do. I mean, I felt like my face was very moisturized and I could really see a difference in my skin. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I don't even think they even sell this at Sephora anymore. Probably because people complain so much about the smell. But anyway, um, a body scrub. This is from the brand Sugarworks, um, handmade in Savannah. I bought a whole bunch of these probably like three years ago. And I had forgot about them and came across them. So I'm trying to start using those up. So I have a body scrub. Um, what I repurchased, I did, as far as body scrubs, I do like those. I like those a lot, a lot better than I do the, um, the tree hat ones. The tree hat ones, I think because of the fragrance in them, they make, they make me itch. But I like the smell of them, but anyway. Ah, Peter Thomas Roth, um, I, what is this, an eye retinol. Fusion PM eye cream. Um, I would use this on and off, on and off, on and off. So by doing it that way, I didn't really see any results. I think if I was consistent with it, I probably would have. But since I was so sporadic in using it and not consistently, so I don't think I would repurchase. Then I have a Strivectin WH Photo White Booster Serum. Um, this was okay. I think it was in a kit. Um, not my favorite serum, so I'm not going to repurchase that. This guy right here, Polish Choice uh, Resist 10% Niacinamide Booster for all skin types. This stuff is wonderful. If you have issues with pores, you might want to give this a try. Go on the Polish, um, Polish Choice website, look at the reviews, look at the formula of it. And um, I really like it. I have a sec I'm on my second bottle of it. And I like it that much. Oh, this little guy right here. I'm on my second bottle of this too. And this is the um, Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. Anyway, it is like this. And I took mine apart because I was curious as far as what the packaging looked like on the inside so when it was empty I took it all apart so if you've ever been curious about it that's what your product is in is this little plastic cylinder and was I able to get that lid off I can't remember no yeah anyway and I was able to get it out and got a few more uses out of it so I was able to get every last drop of this stuff out which is good because this stuff is not cheap so I definitely did not want to waste any of it, but yeah. So anyway, it pops up like that. So definitely would repurchase. I have another one um, already. <clears throat> this guy here was in a pinch me box. It's the Goddess Garden Erase the Day Mineral Removing Cleanser. It was okay. It was not my favorite, um, but it did do a really good job of removing all the makeup. I just didn't care for the smell of it and I didn't care for the color of it. I don't know. So, and it was in a pinch me box. I didn't purchase it to begin with, but um, if you don't know what pinch me boxes is, it's a free sample box that anybody can get every month. Then I have the Ren Flash Hydro Boost um, Moisturizer. It was supposed to help, you know, just boost your moisturizer. It was okay. Not anything that I'm going to go in and out and purchase the full size of it. This was in a little sample pack. Um, this right here I didn't care for at all. This is the Colleen Rothschild um, Extreme Recovery Cream. It was okay. To be honest with you, there's not a whole lot of the Colleen Rothschild skincare line that I like. Um, so it was all right. I didn't like it enough to really want to go out and purchase the full size of it. Have a concealer. This is the Sephora brand concealer. Um, it's called the Bright Future Gel Serum in the color. Can't see it, but it's like the fair porcelain. It was okay. It's definitely not my favorite and would not repurchase. Um, it, it creased in my, under my eyes. I just, I didn't care for it. 
Then of course I have a little small glam glow. Um, this is the original one, the one that's black and you put it on it dries gray and, and then you can see it pulling everything out of your pores. And I would definitely want to get some more of these little travel sizes. So if Sephora had this, you know, like a hundred point perk or something to that effect, definitely would get. I try to get these instead of the, the pots because the pots have a tendency to dry out before you use them up. So these little travel sizes are good. Oh, my mascara. This is from MAC. And I don't remember what kind this is called. What is this called? I don't know. But it's the one, the newest one that they have that looks like a lip a lipstick tube. I didn't like this at all. Um, but it's got this little bitty wand, which I didn't mind the little wand. It's just this stuff. I didn't care how careful I was with it. I always, 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 always smudged up here on my eyelid. Ugh. Anyway, so I would not repurchase that, and that's going to be a back to back item. <laughs> Then I have a little product that was in one of my Mimi boxes from a long time ago. And it's the Heart Face Ultra Pore Care Sleeping Pack. And it was okay. It wasn't as moisturizing as I would like for it had to been for it to be a sleeping pack. But it did have a nice smell to it. And this little pot here lasted a really long time. Because the sleeping packs don't really take a whole lot because they're kind of a thinner um, product so a little bit goes a long way they really smooth out over the skin pretty good but um, and I don't know how much a full-size one of these would cost so anyway and then this right here this is from belief and this was the the true cream moisturizing balm and this was in a little kit that I bought at Sephora during the holiday season and um, it was okay. It was not as moisturizing as what I would like for it to have been, but it was okay. Then I have a little Marc Jacobs eyeliner. This one is was in the black, and I really, really, really did like this. This would be definitely something I would think about purchasing during the VIB sale. So anyway, I do like this for putting it in my waterline or um, the tight line, I guess, because it stays on. It doesn't go anywhere and it's a booger to get off, but I really liked it and I'm not really one to like black eyeliners, but I really did like that. So I would think, I would definitely think about purchasing a full size one. But I was watching Tara Babies the other night, her empties, and she had a whole bunch of full-size ones that had dried out like really, really quick. So now I'm kind of hesitant to get a full-size. So maybe if one of those popped up as a 100-point perk, I would get it then. Then I have a little um, Clarisonic brush head replacement. And um, this one was the, the cashmere one and um i really like this and i didn't really think it was you know really that spectacular but i didn't have another one of these to put on my clarisonic so i went back to i think a regular one it's either a regular or a sensitive and after using this that is so hard <laughs> so hard on my face so definitely like the cashmere i think is what it was called so whenever I go through the rest of my brush heads and need to replace those, I'm going to go back to this one. So that was really soft. I liked it. Then I have a little lip liner. And this was from... Oh, what was the name of that brand? What was the brand? Anyway, I did a review on this. It was sent to me from Octoly. I'll put a card up here on the review of it. And I really did like it. And I used it all up. So I'm really proud that I used up a lip liner finally. Then I have a BB cream. And this is the Oriental Gold BB cream I bought by Skin59. I bought this off Amazon probably like three years ago. I had several of these. And I am working on the very last one. And I did like it. Um, but I think I like the It Cosmetics CC cream better. 
and then this it was just a little pump top I liked the delivery the mechanism of it and then this one was kind of cool and the fact that on the top it also came with like a lip balm where you could use it to have a little bit of color on your lips or you could use it on your cheeks but I'm not going to keep this for just that product because that part that part of it was just eh. So, and then the last thing I have is from Ola Henriksen and it was the the power peel and it's a little three step you have a an almond polish and then you have the lemon strip and then you have the Camille cream that you put on it afterwards and I do like these you can get these in like a pack I think it's like a pack of six at Sephora but anyway um I don't need to repurchase right now and um at point at some point in time when I do for now I would repurchase anyway say all that oh was y'all able to hear that did y'all hear the siren I'm not used to living in town and our house is like like this window right here on the other side is a little bit of a walkway that's my yard and then the fence and then the sidewalk and then the street like just right there right there's the street pretty much so and it's Broadway Broadway yeah so a busy street but normally we after we go to bed at night which really surprises me because I was kind of concerned about the noise level but the little area that I live in even though we are on Bar Broadway and then the street that's on this side of our house is called Oak Mulgee, which is another main street that goes through Muskogee um, it's actually really quiet I'm, I'm very very pleased that it's quiet and I'm actually even more pleased that my little dog I have a, a tweeny that she doesn't bark all night I was so afraid she was gonna bark all night when we got her moved over um, if you remember a, a vlog that I did last year I tried to vlog a little bit but I did I just didn't do very well with it and anyway in the probably the one and only vlog I had um, I had showed y'all feeding my dogs and y'all got to see Penny my little tweenie that I was talking about but you also got to see my senior dog Sammy um, who was a black lab that we had for 16 years and um, gosh was it, has it been two weeks maybe three weeks ago she did pass away so she lived a really really good life we didn't actually move her to the new house she was still at the old house where my son was at um, we just didn't we knew she was almost gone and we just didn't want to take her away from her home and have her come here and and die you know at a strange place so anyway um it was kind of rough the last few days of her life and um I miss her tremendously but I'm glad that she's not not suffering anymore so cuz she there at the end she was she wasn't doing good at all but anyway she gosh she had a long life I mean 16 years 17 years that's a long time for dogs a long time but it seems so weird to, to come home and cuz you know, we'd always go and eat we always eat out and um, would always bring back a doggy bag you know like oh I'm gonna save this little bit of scrap you know off the steak or whatever and take home to Sammy and it just seems so weird not to be doing that now so anyway I'm rambling now so thank you so much for watching my January empties and I'll be talking to you soon bye